All right, stream should be up on both YouTube and on Twitch. So better, uh, better video quality on YouTube, lower latency on Twitch. So uh, I'm super busy today, but I'm going to hop on and do this really quick. So uh, basically, for anyone that didn't see, we got uh, preview one, two, three, and and four. And then in the in preview four, they said it was the last one. However, back in preview two, they said they were going to go over ghouls in a feature preview, and they never did. And we we noticed, we noticed, and we we talked about it on the last preview. Uh, but it didn't say the last pre, you know, it was the final preview, and uh, a lot of people noticed. And so I'm guessing uh, Ludian and Tia over there specifically was like, "Oh crap, uh, I'm so busy, I completely forgot about ghouls." And so they made one really quick. Which uh, no, no, nothing against them. I've been completely fine if they hadn't done this preview. But I'm gonna hop on and uh, and get through it really quick because I was gonna read it anyway. So, um, but yeah, I am so busy today. Uh, I actually have. My daughter has uh, this camp thing coming up that I that I'm uh, a chaperone in, and tonight we're doing the meeting to get everything, you know, for all. Anyway, I, I gotta get I gotta get to that, but let's do this first. Uh, those of you on YouTube, welcome in. Antonio, check the pinned comment. Uh, hopefully you're still there. Check the pinned comment on the single page video. But I I I wrote like five paragraphs on why that video is the length it is, but it is in the um it is in the pinned comments. All right, they added the preview. Just I was not the only one that that noticed they forgot about ghouls. So, all right, all right. Thought you thought she wanted me to stay home. Uh, she changed her mind, I guess. So, all right, you're four and a half hours in the single phase run already. Man, that run is incredible. Thank you for watching that. For anyone that didn't see, the edited single phase is out now. Uh, it's one of my favorite runs of all time. There's so many crazy stories in that one. Okay, the Anomaly Bonus Preview, or as we're going to be calling it, the Forgotten Preview. Ghouls, ghouls, and ghouls. It's just a ghoul thing. Hi, folks. Only one more day until Rimworld Anomaly. Free content update 1.5 and the Anomaly OST are out. They are releasing tomorrow, Thursday, April 11th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time, 1 p.m. my time. You can already go ahead and reserve your place at the stream. Seats are limited. Seats are not limited. Uh, but if you're on YouTube, you can click on the live tab and my stream for tomorrow is already there. You can already go uh, click it. So you know, don't forget if you want. This is super bonus content just for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The cube didn't say we couldn't, which is a as good as permission, right? Today we're talking about ghouls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super bonus. Yeah. It's a, it's more like, oh, crap, I forgot, <laughs> which is fine. They got to be super busy over there. Super busy. Spoilers. Yes, yes. All right. Ghouls. The aptly named ghouls are former humans, turned into maddened, flesh-craving idiots by the bioferrite forced into their living bodies. I bet they can pick up 5G too. <gasps> now we know how the Rimworld got the way it is. Adam, are you a conspiracy theorist? No. You'll usually first see these when one attacks your colony without warning, brandishing its bioferrite spikes. Ghouls are ravenously aggressive and never feel pain. So hit them hard from distance. Never feel pain. Wow. So they're going to fight until they die. Or until they lose their legs or something. If you're luckier, one might crash land a transport pod nearby. Having presumably left devastation wherever it came from. The ghoul will start in shock, but will soon recover and attack uh, anyone it sees. So we're getting like a new Abasia type thing, only better. Well, better, we don't know, but... It can be captured to a holding platform for further study. Capture it or kill it before it wakes. Interesting. This being Rimworld, you can create your own ghouls using your, using your harvested bioferrite in a surgical pro procedure. Man, bioferrite seems like it's going to be used for a lot of stuff, like all DLC stuff, which makes sense. Be warned, this is irreversible. For those you dislike, it'd be kinder to mind wipe or lobotomize them. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, let's check this uh, picture out. Uh, I'm on a 4K monitor and I'm zoomed in, so it's going to look a little grainy, but uh, let's see what we can gather. So here are those dark organs again. So we, I don't know if these are going to be... Maybe these are specifically for ghouls then, right? Because we saw those in the last... One of the last images and we talked about them quite a bit. So maybe these are like ghoul-specific organs or something. I don't know. But there's definitely a lot of them in there and it looks like they are turning people into ghouls in there. So that would... I would stand to reason. There's some of the new meats. I'm not seeing anything crazy sticking out as far as like that we haven't seen in other. Wait, what the crap is that? We haven't seen this entity. Is that entity dropping meat? Always buy bioferrite. 
We haven't seen that entity, I'm pretty sure. Meat, whatever that is, organs, intestines, meat. It looks like it's getting damaged and dropping it. Whoa, are we just going to have something that we can just harvest meat from? Yeah, like a big meat tumor? That's pretty That's pretty nice. Imagine you just have a big meat tumor right next to your uh, your paste. Right? And the, the, the flesh just falls off into the into the hoppers. The efficiency. Very efficient. So, <laughs> it's like a hero. It's like a hero. Mmm. Delicious. I'm betting people aren't going to like eating this meat, to be honest with you. They don't like eating human meat, so... Please stop saying meat tumor. Do you want us to go back to yesterday, or the last review, where we were talking about the meat rod? Like, I hope that's a meat rod. Man, I really hope that's a rod of meat that we can use. Anyway. In the hideous surgical procedure, or if, excuse me, the hideous surgical procedure is a success, this once human becomes a strong, relentless melee combatant. Useful for tank tanking in larger scale battles. Ghouls only fight. They cannot work. If they get killed, you can revive them with an injection of the aptly named Ghoul Resurrection Serum. Ghouls don't work at all. They only fight. Okay. The ghoul in your crown. Ghouls cannot carry equipment either. They're too far gone for that. However, you can't even like, you can't even just put a armor on them. You know? I, I've i seen Plants vs. Zombies. I've played it. Some of them have armor on that they just, you know, they were already... They're already wearing it when they got turned. However, what? wait, so if they're wearing armor and they get turned into a ghoul, does that armor become tainted? Do they just drop it on the ground? I don't know. However, given the unnatural resilience of their half-dead bodies, ghouls can be augmented with a variety of dreadful implants. Aha, that must be what that is. We'll be able to do like a necromancer type run. Maybe, maybe. All right, let's see. That's a lot of ghouls. Maybe they're not very expensive to make. That'd be kind of cool if they're just like a... I don't know. It says they're really ferocious, but eh, that just might be tech stuff, right? Maybe they're pretty easy to make. Maybe we can just have a lot. Instead of sacrifices, maybe we'll start making everyone ghouls that we would sacrifice. Vampire ghoul only run? That'd be kind of cool. I wonder if you can blood feed off of them. Yeah. It's not almost like vampire minions. Single phage minions, yeah. But uh, yeah, instead of taking people out back and shooting them, we might take them back or out back and turn them into a zombie. Well, a ghoul. A ghoul. 97-year-old bad back. Oh, you know what? I wonder if they heal all that stuff. Like, do ghouls keep anything from when they were human? Implants are the, are the height of mostly dead fashion. They can be protective, like bioferrite armor plating or a metal blood heart. Both of which improve the ghoul's survivability at the cost of speed. Oh, okay. So they have kind of their own, like, armor set up, but it's, it's, uh, like, medical, it looks like. Okay, that makes sense. Well, that's the end of the preview. Jeez, this really is small. Aggressive implants include a corrosive heart that enables it to spray acid, an adrenal heart that lets it move and attack impossibly quickly, and barbed bioferrite spikes, which improve its melee damage while slowing it. So three different things that slow it. You try... You try running with bioferrite railroad nails stuck through your body. <laughs> Ghouls are very helpful when fighting the tougher enemies. They're strong melee combatants and hard to kill, so they can absorb damage for your colonists. If they killed, they can always be resurrected by a serum. Okay, so these have the potential of being really good. Now we know why they fixed corner punch, because you just get all these ghouls. So they have the potential of being really good, depending on a few things. So some things come to mind immediately. One is raid points. Unfortunately, if you're playing mid-max, if you're playing on 500%, a lot of things always come down to raid points. It's why slaves aren't too great in RimWorld, right? So if these ghouls are basically no raid points, then that'll be awesome. They'll be like better Gwarlin is what it sounds like. I, I That's kind of, you know, that's the, that's the first thing that I kind of relate them to is more like Gwarlin than, I don't know if they have the upkeep, but they, they need food and stuff. But anyway, um... Fences block them, kill box comes a ghoul box, a ghoul box. Yeah, so the other thing is I'm wondering if they keep anything from the human side. So you're turning humans into them. So like, I doubt it, but what if they keep like human traits? Like hopefully they don't keep bad back and stuff like that. But what about the positive traits? Like they can, they can only melee fight, it seems. And they can't work at all. Wait, maybe they don't eat. I was thinking that this one was eating. Maybe it's attacking.
Seems like you can see the brain of the one in the freezer, maybe. I can't tell if that's a haircut or not. I don't know. Melee guy ghouls, stone skin gland. Yeah, like what can you put on them? I'm I'm doubting you can do that kind of stuff just because it looks like they have their own stuff that you can put on there, but has the potential of being really strong, like and, and if they're cheap. Uh it'll be awesome to have melee blockers. A tough, robust ghoul with brawler or nimble or something. Yeah, uh, can you put genes into them, right? Like, can you have a Neanderthal ghoul or a genie ghoul, right? Can you have a child ghoul? Oh, no. Oh, no. If little Timmy turns 10 and he rolls nothing but, like, pessimist, little Timmy, you might become, become a ghoul. I'm not sure. Maybe, oh, maybe the meat's specifically for the ghouls. Yeah, that... Maybe, maybe, I don't know. They're definitely, I don't, it's hard to tell. I say definitely, but fair. <laughs> Goju on ghoul. Why did your brain first go there? Um, You know, just, just thinking. Yeah, that's another thing too. We'll call on us care if ghoul dies. What if someone's in a relationship and then you turn them into a ghoul? Does that person get unhappy? Do they stay in the relationship with a ghoul? <laughs> Do ghouls need to sleep? Hussar ghouls. They would, yeah, so they have the potential of being... Uh, anything at the moment. Obviously, we're speculating. We, we'll know tomorrow. But they have the potential to be like build runs around them. They're so good and they're so easy to get to. All right, they're usable because, you know, whatever. Let's say they don't break down and they don't sleep and they're strong, but they're expensive. Like they're usable. And then let's go the opposite where it's like, oh, these are worth too many raid points. You might as well have anything else, right? So... Rimworld now featuring necrophilia, maybe. <laughs> Hang on. What what all war crimes have we not had on Rimworld yet? Like or, or crimes against humanity. Let's start let's start checking things off because it seems like they really want to hit all the bases in Rimworld. They they say that Rimworld is a story generator game and it's a sandbox, but no, let's not start listing them off. But hang on, we we've had people um We've had the naked children dancing around in my Sanguifage run, right? I, we had an underground cave base with naked children dancing around all the time. Um, there's all kinds of violent things, right? So maybe maybe now you can sleep with a ghoul. Maybe now you can sleep with a ghoul without mods. Adam, how do you know there's mods for necrophilia? There's mods for everything, uh, I assume. You can eat human meat. You can betray people. You can behead children. Like, this game is pretty... Pretty violent. It's only as violent as you make it. They, hey, they specifically allow for these things in the game. So, viral warfare. You know, there isn't viral warfare. There is uh, toxic, right? So you can use toxic stuff. Are there such things as suicide bombers in this? Yes. Yeah. Actually, I mean, well, you can run animals in and make them explode. So, or you can run someone in with a doomsday rocket and have them shoot themselves in the foot, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, there's auto bong. Yeah, there's not viral things. But, pyromaniac for the undead. Oh, I bet they're they're probably afraid of fire, too, like the sanguifage. You could consider if sanguifage maybe viral warfare. The shards that they shoot or something. Uh, yeah, dead live dust is pretty close to viral warfare, right? They call it archites, they call it mechanites, whatever. But that's pretty close. So yeah, I think we've got just about everything. Honestly. Let's see. We have misogynistic people. We have misandric people. We have very... We have extremely bigoted people. They specifically added something to the game that's called very bigoted in ideology. I think we have just about everything. You can... You can sterilize people. Oh my god. You can, you can get genes. What is RimWorld? Why do we play this game? Hang on, I'm having a crisis of of belief here. I'm having a, I'm gonna change my ideology. I'm ha I'm gonna ro roam around. There's speciesism. There's racism. There's preferred xenotypes. Jesus, what are they made here? Story generator. Sure, Tynan. Sure, you keep uh, you keep that appearance up. We'll we'll see. All right, guys. Uh, that was all the preview. It is very very short. So, uh, and I have a lot to do. Like I said, I have to go and we have a meeting where we go over all the stuff like these, these are all the kids that will be in your cabin and this is when you have to give them their medication if they have it and all this kind of stuff. So probably important things, you know, so. 
Oh, you can definitely be. Yeah, yeah, it's all terrible. It's all terrible. It's all terrible. <laughs> But uh, anyway, I, I do have to go to that. Uh, two things before you guys head out, if you would. One, I will be playing this on release tomorrow. It releases at 1 p.m. my time. The uh, stream for that is already listed on YouTube. So if you want to watch it on YouTube or you want the reminder or whatever, if you go on my YouTube channel and you click live, you'll see it right there. It's already listed. You can click it. You can say that you're going to watch it. That helps out the algorithm. You can even hit the like button, even though it might be the worst stream of all time. You don't know. But you could go ahead and hit the like button if you want. It'll, it'll help me out whether you're on Twitch or YouTube. Uh, the other thing is the Sanguifage edit finally came out this morning. The reason why it's so late is in the pinned comment. So if you're curious about that. But the Sanguifage run, God, I wish that we could have had the edit out like four weeks ago. I'm afraid too many, I'm afraid so many people are going to miss the Sanguifage run. And it might be... It might be one of the best runs I've ever done. And I'm not saying that for recency bias. I'm not saying that just to get you to click it. Like everyone that's watched it has said the same thing. Like the Sandwich Page run, talking about war crimes, um, it's a crazy run. <laughs> it's an absolutely crazy run. One of my favorite of all time. And I'm afraid that all of the, the DLC content, not just for me, but from everyone, is going to... Um, is going to envelop it in, in, and bury it tomorrow. So unfortunately, it didn't come out until this morning. But, uh... You used it as an intro to me to a friend who also loves RimWorld. <laughs> You're gonna think I'm a psychopath. Hey, everyone that loves RimWorld is a psychopath. It's fine. It's fine. So yeah, if you haven't already, check out the single phase run or maybe put it on your to watch list at some time. Or uh, to watch... Put it on your watch list to watch it sometime. And uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll be starting up Anomaly. 1pm sharp, hopefully. I mean, that's when it's supposed to be out, so that's when I'll be on, but... Uh, yeah, I gotta go. I got uh, I got IRL things to finish so I can do a uh, a lot of a lot of DLC streaming. So thank you guys again. I know I kind of tunnel visioned on the preview. I'm sorry if I missed a bunch of stuff in chat. Uh, next, thank you for the brand new sub, Todd. Thank you for the three months. Uh, I missed a lot of chat. I know, but I'm trying to rush because you know I gotta go. So anyway, have a good one. Thank you guys for hanging out for this a little bit of time. I'll see you tomorrow for uh, for anomaly, brand new DLC. Looking forward to it. Let's see what war crimes... Man, there, there's probably war crimes we don't even know about. We're even in the previews. We'll, we'll find out tomorrow.